Well, guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Heart Tongue Family Farms. And today is the first of four videos that will be coming out and off of our farm. So basically over the past two months or so, I've bas I've been traveling a little bit. And actually this one right here was on my way back from a day of spraying. I had my drone with me, and I basically just saw something, some really cool stuff going on, and I decided to film it. So this video is actually in between one of our farms in Eastern Iowa, and it's called Hograver Dairy, and they run a pretty cool fleet of equipment. They're a pretty decent-sized dairy that actually have their own two mergers, as you guys just saw a little while ago, or hay bines, wind rowers, whatever you want to call them, a case and a New Holland speed rower, and I'm not sure what else what the case is called but and they also have their own new holland forage harvester which you guys are going to see i believe is an fr 9060 similar as ours if not 9040 i'm not quite sure though i didn't what didn't actually ever end up getting close to the chopper it was off about a mile off the road but they run a sweet fleet of h&s wagons all pulled by 1066 uh, open cab tractors most of them black stripe and they are awesome i'd never actually seen these guys chop before i'm always doing stuff when they're out chopping but this is actually their first day of first crop hay back in june and i was just very fortunate to kind of see them you guys are in for a treat as you guys saw in the intro video but they are chopping first crop hay for their dairy um most of the dairies that i actually know of usually chop their hay they don't bale it or anything like that chopping it is more expensive to put up but the, the feed value is much much higher just because you can actually store it when it's much wetter and it retains the nutrients more and then actually you guys can see to the right yeah there's actually a sprayer spraying right next to it too so that was actually kind of neat to see i got a little bit of footage of it of the co-op near us spraying with their old rogator sprayer you can kind of see their dairy in the background i'm kind of right by the white buildings here's the uh here is the uh rogator it's a yellow old one wow why, of course it's yellow it's an older rogator. I'm not sure the exact model or year, but I've definitely seen it around for a long time. But anyway, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to set it to music, and I'm going to chime in on probably towards the end and talk a little bit more about them. I don't like, like I said, I don't know much about the operation, but I know that they've they do rebuild and repaint all these 1066 i believe one of them was rebuilt twice now the engine but when i say rebuilt like the engine was completely overhauled gone through new sleeves bearings whatever have you but it was just a really cool thing to see guys it was kind of just a big coincidence that i was driving by and i saw it but anyway i hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope you guys enjoy these four videos of off farm off farm off hartung family farms footage and there might be one hartung farm uh, video intermixed in between it and then another schedule update for ron actually i am going to be going to be a traveling once more to back, back down to texas as well as up to north dakota so you that i unfortunately will be off the farm for a while so the videos might slow back down but for the for the meantime we'll have plenty of videos for you guys to watch anyway i hope you guys enjoy
So I'm sure you guys are wondering, kind of jumping in here, why in the world are they running open cab tractors when they don't have air conditioning or anything like that in the hot July heat? Well, I was actually talking to them about this, and they run open cab tractors because they like it so much better when they're actually unloading into a bagger. As you guys can see, they're bagging all their haylage, and they don't have anyone running the bagger, so they got to hop out every single time, rev up the tractor, jump back on their tractor, and start up the PTO, and then start unloading. And it, it like I said, if they had a fourth person, the cab tractor would probably be much easier, but they only have themselves or only have the operator of the wagon, so they actually need need to uh it's it helps them when they're uh having open station tractor and you guys saw that really cool look of those really nice looking black stripe 1066s but anyway guys as this, this tractor pulls out i hope you guys enjoyed this video of some classic horsepower mixed with some modern chopping of the local dairy but anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, shoot me a comment if you guys want more of these videos. If I stumble across something really cool, it's kind of more like a shout out to Mike Less and Big Tractor Power Jason about it. But anyway, if you guys, like I said, comment if you guys like this video, like it if you do like it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, ta ta for now.